Info Spotfire puts data science at your fingertips. In this video, some of Spotfire's inline data wrangling features will be demonstrated. We will also import data from Google Analytics and replace an existing data source with Microsoft SQL Server. To begin with, we have a simple dashboard based on toy model sales. Noticeably missing is a line chart to visualize sales over time. We can quickly add the chart and rearrange the dashboard as preferred. Upon selecting the x-axis column, it appears the month column type is a string. Normally when you import data into Spotfire, it will automatically recognize the date format and change it for you. But you can also painlessly change data types in the data panel. As you can see, it is done with a click of a few buttons. After doing so, we can choose the appropriate time hierarchy we would like displayed. Being able to visualize the data in the data wrangling process allows for easy and quick discovery of data that may require cleaning. Here we see a point that appears to be an outlier. After clicking the data point, it becomes apparent that there is a data entry error. We can quickly correct this by right-clicking the value and pressing Replace Value. After looking at the quantity sold and the item's price, it's clear that the sales should be 4,808, not 48.08. Navigating to the source view, we see this transformation. By clicking the gear icon, we then have the ability to edit the transformation if needed. Next, we want to add data from Google Analytics. This is done like adding data from any other data source. After allowing access, we can choose what data we want to load. And here we have all the data available from Google Analytics. We will then select what metrics and dimensions we want including a custom metric built in Google Analytics that is actually the order number. Since we are adding data through a join, we have to match at least one column. Clicking Next, we now have the ability to decide on what join method we want to use. After clicking Finish, we now see the Google Analytics data source within the source view. I have also added an additional data file containing geography data. Reviewing this new data, we added the ship to data contains the city and the country in one column. It may be more convenient when building visualizations later if we first split this column into two separate columns. By selecting the ship to column from the data panel and clicking split column, we are now prompted with a new window. It allows for choosing the separator as well as as well as two other options to decide where the split should occur. A preview of the data is also provided, making it very easy to split correctly. After a split is complete, we can right-click the column name and re rename it appropriately. As of Spotify release 7.11, you can replace an existing data source without having to redo any transformations, making data wrangling even simpler. This is useful in several ways. In this case, we can consider this the same as going from a test environment to production. The original data source was just a file where in production the sales team is using a Microsoft SQL Server. By working with an alternative and local data source, we developed an analysis file without access to the production source, which is convenient when working off-site or when you have a work in progress that you do not want to introduce to the production environment. Now that we are ready to switch to the production data source, we can do so from selecting the data source and then clicking for more options and selecting the replace data source. This is a new feature as of the Spotfire.7.11 release. After entering the connection info, we can select what tables to import. And as you can see, we replace the data source without affecting the analysis. There is a yellow warning icon indicating one of the existing transformations may need a further editing or configuration. By clicking the gear icon, we can easily select the appropriate column for the replace value transformation from earlier. In this example exercise, we have changed the data type of the date column from string to date. We have visualized data to discover a data entry error that we corrected with a replace value transformation. We matched up three different data sources, including an existing data source, the Google Analytics, and an additional file. We split the ship to column into two new columns and renamed appropriately. We replace the original data file with the production data source while maintaining the analysis workflow in all of the transformations. And finally, we edited an existing transformation without having to create a new one from scratch. Visit spotfire.tipco.com trial to get started today.
or visit the community site where you can ask and answer questions or exchange ideas. Thanks again for watching and have a good day.